Uh, good evening. This is uh, basically for uh, section one because uh, today in lecture um, I didn't spend some time on this chart and it's very important because it's going to be on tomorrow's exam. So this is why I'm going through this. So I'd like um, especially section one to go to page uh, 322 in your textbook and uh, reference this uh, chart. It's uh, figure 10.15. Okay. Uh, this chart is actually showing you the different kinds of reactions that a muscle would have based on the type of frequency of stimulus. Um, first definition is a twitch. What is a twitch? A twitch is a single contraction reaction to a single stimuli, a single stimulus. So one stimulus will cause one reaction. So that's a twitch. And as we said before, the twitch has a latent period. There's a period of contraction and there's a period of relaxation and recovery. What is a wave summation? What is a wave summation? Well, imagine that there are two, two twitches, two uh, stimuli coming in, one behind the other. The first stimulus causes a twitch, but as it begins to come back down, as the muscle begins to get back into relaxation, there's another stimulus behind it. So there's not enough time for the muscle to relax. So the second uh, contraction begins before the first one is done. So it's as though the second contraction is actually riding upon the back of the first one. It's like piggybacking. So you have a, a, a summation, which means addition, an addition of this contraction plus this contraction. Notice that the peak of the second contraction is higher than the peak of the first of one twitch over here. That's because there are two added here. The peak is higher than here. So the force of contraction is stronger here. Alright? So this is called summation. The addition of one contraction to others. And the more stimuli occurring at the same time, the more of these climbing uh, addition or summation of waves that are occurring. This is a condition called unfused tetanus. Unfused because you can see gaps between each of the responses, even each of the contra contraction responses between the stimuli, which means that the stimulus are occurring with enough time between them to allow a little bit of relaxation before the other one comes. And so this in, it, in itself is a type of summation. This is a type of summation, but it's just that there's it's, it's, um, occurring at regular intervals. So it gives you a condition called tetanus, but it's an unfused tetanus because you have these areas of relaxation in between it. Notice, however, that the peak of each new contraction is higher than the peak before. Again, showing you the summation, the addition of contractions. This situation over here, and again, I want you to refer to your diagram because if you refer to your diagram, you'll see the different speeds at which the stimulis, stimuli are coming in. Across here is a burst of stimuli that is happening so fast. The frequency is so high that you fuse all of this into a smooth, continuous contraction. That's why this is called fused tetanus because we have fused all of this it's so fast that there's no time at all to relaxation so it's fused and there's a climb and notice how high the peak is notice as we get to a certain peak it plateaus all right so this point is tetanus all right here's the point of fused tetanus this is contraction and this is the tetanus plateau right here all right the muscle cannot con con consistently remain with this tension unlimitedly. There's a point in time when energy, when ATP, sugar, other things like that was going to run out and so the muscle will fatigue and here's where you see it starts from my down. That's the point of fatigue. What I wanted to know for tomorrow is the difference between a twitch, what is wave summation, 
all right? A type of summation called unfused tetanus. And to understand that this is a sustained contraction because of high frequency of stimuli. This point, therefore, this is tetanus, and from this point onwards, this is fatigue, okay? So, read your text, go through your textbook, on the page that I gave you, page 322, look at figure 10, dot one five and go through this whole situation here this whole set of response of muscles to stimuli because you need to know this for tomorrow's exam all right good luck unto you it was good having you guys for this summer session wish you luck wish that all of you get a grade that you're satisfied with bye bye